All right, guys, welcome to the video. A very cool package just came in. This is not the one I mentioned in the last video, but this is something I ordered last Friday. And this is gonna be very cool, especially for this. And if you can't tell, I did put it back together just to like save up some storage. A little exity box turned inside out for this. A small part, but this is a good piece for making it feel just as OEM as it would be from factory. And here's a nice thing. All right, and right here, we have another gasket for it. Forgot how much stuff I ordered. This right here is going to be nice. I can't, another thing I can't use right now. Finally, we have this. So I'm going to quickly go back over everything that I just pulled out in case the footage I got before wasn't that good. To start off with, we have the first things for the manual swap to come in the mail. Still two big things coming. Well, three big things, but... So... This is for the manual swap. This obviously is an interior piece. This is the sound deadening. It's gonna be very nice to not have a lot of noise. This is a clutch pedal pad that came through. Well, this is actually a brake pedal pad, but it's the same clutch and brake pedal pad are both um, the same pad. Here is the rear main seal. This will be very, very nice to have. Mine isn't leaking, but this will be nice since it's already gonna be pulled out. Well, this will be nice since the transmission is getting pulled out anyway. They already have access to it. Might as well get it done while they're there so it doesn't eventually become a problem. This is my brand new nice throttle body to rear housing coolant hose. Very nice. Very good condition. Obviously it's brand new so of course it's going to be nice. Right here we have the lower gasket. It actually goes on right here and this will go back on when I install it onto the the rest of the manifold inside the car. Always want to get new gaskets. This is the upper manifold gasket that I'll be about to install actually. Um, everything's kind of loosely put on right now so I'll take everything off real quick and then slap this new gasket on, make sure everything's torqued down right. Just a quick intermission update. Um, I realized that once I take this out to install, I can't have this on it. And the reason that this can't be on it is right here underneath of it, there are two spots where the fuel oil bolts down to the uh, lower intake. And you can't reach those. And you can't reach those unless the throttle body's off. So I'm gonna save myself the effort and just take the throttle body off now. Alright, the dynamic chamber is now bolted to the intake, and I have torqued it down 14 and then 19 foot-pounds around to make sure that the gasket perfectly seals on there. And now all I gotta do is take this outside and throw it on to the FC, pretty much. And then hopefully get a start in this video, but not a long one, obviously, since I can't flush the coolant and stuff right now. I could, but um, it's not worth it. Um... But yeah, I'm going to quickly do that. I'm not going to record that process because one, it'd be awkward, and two, I'm not going to get good footage out of it. So I'm going to go do that. And I'll show you guys an after clip of everything put in, how it looks like with the painted intake on it, all the vacuuming done, <clears throat> everything put back together, and 
Hopefully it's quick and easy. See if it stays running with the throttle actually connected. Almost. So this is my final attempt before I give it up for the night. No matter what, it's probably not going to stay running, but right now I'm just checking to make sure it actually does run and that there's no leaks. That was promising, but I'm gonna give up. All right, so this is the end of the video. I went outside and I got the intake installed most of the way. I didn't like perfectly connect everything, like everything's not perfectly hose clamped and every hose isn't perfectly slotted, like, slotted on right now, mainly because I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna have to pull it out again at some point for some reason. And there's still a lot of exciting stuff on the way. And I have a few smaller things that I still need to order before it's just big parts after that. I almost had a transmission lined up, but, you know. Anyway, so that should be enough for this video. Um, the next video will probably be another similar unboxing style, except no installation. Because the next parts I'm getting in are pretty big. I have no clue when they're coming. I was told that there's a back order until August. It's currently August 2nd um, that I'm recording this. And I have no clue at what point I may even get them. I might not even get them this month. I might get them next month. Beats me. Um, but they'll be fresh, brand new parts. And I'll have nothing to complain about once I get them. Um, and I have some other big parts that I'm saving up for now. That should make this whole manual swap, everything, really, really worth it. Anyway, until the next video, I'll see ya.